Hi, welcome to this hands-on session on Databricks. I am Aliza Tanvir and in this lesson we will learn how to run SQL in Databricks. SQL is one of the most popular data science languages around and has been for many years. So we are going to use it to create a new database and new tables within the Databricks and add data in it. By the end of the lesson, you would have learned how to create a notebook in Databricks. You will have learned how to investigate the data, how to look at it using SQL and how to create a database and new tables with SQL using notebook. So let's start by looking at the data and for that we need to have a notebook. In the left side click create and then select notebook. Then you have to provide a suitable name to your notebook. And for the default language, I am going to select SQL. We'll move towards Python in the later videos. Select your cluster and click create. Once your notebook is created, this is a window that you are going to see. And this is a cell where you write the SQL queries and execute them. So we'll start by uh, looking at the data present in the table. For that, we will write the query. And here I have pressed tab to get the uh, suggestions and this is my table I am going to select it and in order to run it I am going to click this play button and select run cell and here you can see that it has returned me 100 rows showing all the columns and the data present inside the columns you can see this plus sign here once you click it, you will get another cell to write a new command. Since the table that we created is created inside the default database, which is not admissible, so we are going to create a new database using SQL and then we'll move the data from the table into the new database. For that, I'm going to write the query. Then run it. And your query is executed this means that database is successfully created again press plus to get a new cell and here we are going to use the database in, in order to create a new table in it run it and the database has been changed now again click plus to get a new cell and here we are going to transfer the data from the breadth underscore csv table into a new table inside pet db so now i am going to write the query here and i am going to run it so what this query is going to do it is going to create a table pets and the data inside the pet will be the result of this query in which we are selecting all the record from the default database having the table pets underscore csv now run the query here you can see that our query has been successfully executed and it has returned no result now in order to test whether the data has been inserted or not we are going to display all the records from the pets table now you can see that the table that we created has all the data from the default database table pet csv Okay. Similarly, we can run other queries on this database as well. So for example, we can count the number of records. So we will use select count all from pets and this is going to return us the total number of records present in the table pets. And here you can see that it has returned us 100 rows which are present inside the pets table. Similarly, you can get the uh, maximum or the minimum age for all the pets for that you have to write it run the query and this is going to return you the maximum and minimum age of pet present inside the table so the minimum age is 0 and the maximum age is 15 we can also have the average age of the pets for that we will use the average function and pass age here run it and now it has shown us the average age to be 6.93 similarly we can run another query here in which we'll count the number of pets of a particular age group and for that we, I'll write the query then simply run the query what it is going to do is 
it is going to select the age and the number of pets for each age here you can see that the ages are present in the random order but for the age 12 there are total 10 pets for age 1 there are total 5 pets and so on if I want to order it in a particular order here I am going to use the order by clause and I am going to order it by age so it is going to order the ages in ascending order run it and now you'll see that the age has been sorted in ascending order and for each age you can see the number of pets that are present you can also visualize these results in the form of a graph by clicking this plus sign and then select visualization here you can have a visualization in the type scatter you can also select any type of graph i'll select the bar graph into which you will see that the y-axis represents the number of pets present for each age group and the x-axis represents age so by looking at this bar graph you can easily see that for the age group 3 year and 12 years we have the most number of pets and this is how you can also visualize your data using Databricks. So this is all for this particular video. Thank you.